Hallelujah. Welcome to the Hewitt channel. My name is Evangelist Anita Hewitt. We welcome you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It's another time for us to praise the Lord. It's time to praise the Lord with Evangelist Anita Hewitt. We love you with the love of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that you tuned in to our channel. Our ministry is MCN Ministry, Bible Way, LA. And if you want to know more information, please visit our webpage at www.brianhewitt.com. And if you want to seed into this fertile ministry, for truly we are a ministry that's on the move for Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord said, who will go for me? Send me and I'll go. And we're going to the four winds of the earth. And God has really, truly been blessing. So if you want to seed into this ministry, please click the donation button. And if you want to write a check, please make it payable to MCN Ministry by away LA and it will truly be a blessing glory to God let's go before the throne most gracious Father, we come before you right now, Lord, in the matchless name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for a glorious day that you protected us all day long. And if it's our evening, Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for you protecting us all evening long. Father God, Lord, we just love you today. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for a teachable spirit. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that not one word shall fall upon deaf ears, but it shall accomplish that it was sent to do. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for souls to be one in advance. Father God, we thank you that our faith has risen just a little bit higher. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that we're standing on your word today. And Lord Jesus, we are going to meditate on your word day and night. And Lord Jesus, we just thank you for every blessing you have for us this day or this evening. And Lord Jesus, if it be thy will for us to see another day that we never seen before, Father God, we will raise up, rise up with the newness of you and praising God. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for every blessing in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. This is at three o'clock p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. This is the time where we study and we have been in this series called Overcomers. We are overcomers. We are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. And the saints of the Most High God, we must know that we are overcomers and we have the victory because God causes us to triumph. So please get your Bible. We're talking today. We're overcoming discouragement. And along this Christian walk, we all go through that moment of discouragement. There comes a time in our lives where life circumstances, things just doesn't work out the way that we, you know, had planned for it to work out. But God, hallelujah, gives us the hope. He strengthens us only through the word of God. So our foundational scripture as for being overcomers. Hallelujah. Please write this down or turn with me in your Bible to 2 Corinthians 2.14. Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and maketh manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. God causes you to triumph always in Christ Jesus everywhere. Hallelujah. So we have the victory. So I want you to know who you are in Christ Jesus, and we're going to combat the this spirit of discouragement we bind it in the name of jesus and it must go hallelujah because we are applying the word to this situation hallelujah <clears throat> Again, like life circumstances sometimes has a tendency to make us be downtrodden. We look at the circumstances, but the Bible says we, can, we, we do not look at the things which are seen. For the things that are seen are subject to change, but the things that are cannot see that they are everlasting. So therefore, we cannot look at our circumstances. We give it to God, and we get encouraged only through the word of God. So go, go with me to Joshua 1 and 9. Hallelujah. Joshua 1 and 9. Have not I command thee, be strong and be of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee wherever thou goest. Hallelujah. 
Be encouraged, saints of the Most High God. Be encouraged of knowing that God will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be dismayed. Do not be, don't be surprised. Hallelujah. God said what God said he meant. So he says, hallelujah, be of good courage. Hallelujah. Be not afraid, neither be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with you wherever you go. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to understand that. God said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. So I want you to be encouraged. We're coming against that spirit of discouragement. We are overcomers. We are overcoming this today. Hallelujah. This spirit of discouragement, hallelujah, will not linger, not another millisecond in the name of Jesus. Because isn't it amazing that the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. And when you don't have joy, you don't have strength because God's word said it. Hallelujah. And sometimes whenever that we're discouraged, we don't want to get out of bed. We want to throw the covers over our head and say, good morning. What's so good about tomorrow, this morning? Hallelujah. I just want to sleep sleep it over, but hallelujah, take the covers off, hallelujah, lift up your head, hallelujah, know who you are in Christ Jesus, glory to God, according to Deuteronomy 31 and 6, turn with me, be strong and be of good courage, fear not, be not afraid of, um, be not afraid of them, for the Lord thy God, he is, is, is that doeth go with thee hallelujah and he will not fail thee neither forsake thee hallelujah don't you know hallelujah wherever you go you're not by yourself don't you know god's not going to allow the enemy to run rock shot over you don't you know hallelujah when you put your trust in god god will see you through every situation but isn't it amazing that whenever we go through things we don't put god in the circumstances and then all of a sudden we start looking we try to handle it and we can't handle it so because God is just waiting for us to give it to him. Hallelujah. But during the time that we try to handle it, we fall into discouragement. We fall, you know, we get discouraged and said, it's not working out. How come it's not working out? I don't understand. I've tried everything. This is how I normally do. This is how it works. But when you don't add God into the circumstances, hallelujah, if you do not add God into the equation, hallelujah, it's not going to come to pass. But because we trust in God and because we are overcomers and we're overcomers, Coming, the spirit of discouragement today hallelujah because we are going to lift up holy hands hallelujah magnify him hallelujah we need to tell the devil i still have joy i'm still here hallelujah glory to god i'm still lifting up my heads hallelujah turn with me to psalms glory to god hallelujah psalms 24 we're going to start at verse 7 through 10 hallelujah Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even be lifted them up, the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Amen. Saints of the Most High God, lift up your heads. Hallelujah. And know that the King of glory shall come in. Hallelujah. We're lifting up our heads today. We're binding the spirit of discouragement today. Hallelujah. We're going to flip that and say, I'm not discouraged. I am encouraged today. Hallelujah. I'm encouraged of the word of God today. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to lift up my heads. I'm going to praise God because he's so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory to God. According to Psalms 41 and 10, hallelujah, but thou, O Lord, be magnified unto me, hallelujah, and raise me up, hallelujah, that I may 
require them. Hallelujah. In other words, God, I'm going to magnify you. Lord, you're merciful. Hallelujah. And because you are a God of mercy, hallelujah, I'm going to praise you. I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to magnify you, Lord, because there's none like you. Hallelujah. In all the earth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Turn with me to Psalms 37, 3 through 5. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land. And verily thou say, be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Verse 5. Commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Number one. Hallelujah. We are defeating. Hallelujah. The spirit of discouragement today. And because of that, we're going to feed it with the word of God. We're going to trust in the Lord and be of good courage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord and do good. Hallelujah. I'm doing well. Hallelujah. I don't care what it looks like. Hallelujah. I don't care what kind of storm you in. I trust in God. Hallelujah. And not only I'm trusting in him, I'm delighting myself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Because I know that God is with me. Hallelujah. We just read that God said, I'm not going to leave you. Do not be dismayed. Don't you know I'm with you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We serve a God who will never leave us nor forsake us. I want you to lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ever lifted up. Hallelujah. And the King of glory shall come in, and we know the King of glory. We know who his name is. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I want you to lift up your heads. Hallelujah. Because we're coming against the spirit of discouragement. Hallelujah. Don't you know, according to Psalms 66, 8 and 9, hallelujah, oh bless our God, hallelujah, ye people, and make the voice of his praises to be heard, hallelujah, which, hallelujah, holdeth our soul in life, and suffer not our foot to be moved. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to praise you anyway. Hallelujah. Discouragement got to go when you start praising the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We're going to shake off those things that are so easily beset us. We're going to lift up our holy hands and say thank you, Jesus. We're going to go through our house wherever we are, if it be our job. Hallelujah. I'm going to magnify you on my way coming home. I'm going to thank you, Jesus, because we're coming against the spirit of discouragement. Hallelujah. I might have been discouraged right now, but God, hallelujah. I thank God for the word because now I'm encouraged. Hallelujah. God woke you up to praise him because he's so worthy to be praised. He brought you up and out of darkness into the marvelous light. If you think back on the goodness of God, how can you be discouraged? Hallelujah. We come against that spirit of discouragement. Hallelujah. I'm not discouraged. We're flipping it. I am encouraged today. Glory to God according to Philippians 1 and 6. Hallelujah. Being confident in this very thing. Hallelujah. That he, that which has begun a good work in you, will perform it until the day of Christ. Hallelujah. You mean that God does not start something and quit. Hallelujah. What he started in you, he's going to complete and he's going to finish. Hallelujah. So don't be discouraged, my brother, my sister. Hallelujah. Young, young children, mother or father, elders of the church. Hallelujah. Senior citizens, know that God has started a good work in you, and he will continue until the day of Christ. Hallelujah. So I want you to be discouraged. I want you to come against the spirit of discouragement and be encouraged in the Lord. Hallelujah. Be encouraged. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
hallelujah god will hallelujah bless you god will bring you up and out of every situation according to psalms hallelujah 69 and 30 hallelujah i will praise the name of the lord with song hallelujah i will magnify him with thanksgiving hallelujah how you flip discouragement is through praise hallelujah i'm going to magnify you i'm going to thank you lord because you've been so good to me because hallelujah you brought me such a mighty 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 long way hallelujah when i look back hallelujah just over my life i don't even have to go over my life i can look back what you've done for me last year two years ago hallelujah what he did for me this morning right now hallelujah i might have had the spirit of discouragement but i'm encouraged by the word of god today turn with me to psalms hallelujah 138 and 3 hallelujah in the day when i cry thou answerest me hallelujah and thou strengthens me hallelujah with strength in my soul hallelujah you mean that means that when i call on you hallelujah god you strengthen me hallelujah not only just strengthen just me you strengthen my soul you encourage me hallelujah that i can do it hallelujah i'm here to encourage you my brothers and sisters and say you can do all things through christ which strengthens you hallelujah hallelujah the devil is a lie we come against the spirit of discouragement hallelujah i trust you god in all things there comes a time in our christian walk that we got to say god i trust you hallelujah i can't look at the circumstances because if i look at the circumstances hallelujah i will get discouraged hallelujah the word of god says weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning there comes some discouragement sometimes that we shed some tears but i decree morning time now hallelujah the joy of the lord is your strength I speak strength today, today to the saints of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Turn with me to Psalms 103.17. Hallelujah. But the mercy, hallelujah, of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting unto them that fear him and unto his righteousness, unto the children's children. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If that doesn't make you happy, the mercies of the Lord are everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. And those that fear him. It's not a cowardly fear. It's a reverently fear. I, I reverence your holy God. Hallelujah. You're the king.